We're in the Gospel of Luke, we're at chapter 23 today, verses 18 to 21. And they all cried out at once, saying, Away with this man, and release to us Barabbas, who had been thrown into prison for a certain rebellion made in the city and for murder. Pilate, therefore, wishing to release Jesus, again called out to them. But they shouted, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! And so that's where we're at here. So Pilate decided to let Jesus go. He hasn't really done anything worthy of death. And they are determined for him to be stavros, to be crucified, pierced. And so they have a man here, Barabbas. Barabbas, interestingly, translates to meaning son of the father. Who's the real son of the father? It's Jesus. But Barabbas, he is a son of the father. He's a son of the father, Satan, the murderer. He was a murderer from the beginning. And here we see him clearly identified as a murderer. So Barabbas is just as guilty as can be, but they would rather have a murderer released to them. They would rather have one who is like Satan in character released to them than Jesus, who is selfless and not able to be corrupted. Jesus can't be corrupted, and so he has to be destroyed. Barabbas is just another criminal, just another hoodlum, and they'd rather receive Barabbas. And so Pilate is, again, working on this. Hey, you know, you don't want me to release Barabbas, do you? You want me to release Jesus, right? And, of course, the answer is no, no, and a thousand times no. No, the mob is, the devils are working them into quite the frenzy. And they are in a place, they're in a place mentally, they're in a place emotionally to be worked into a frenzy. And so they are after, they're, they're calling for the blood. They want to see Jesus crucified on the Roman cross. And so that's where things are. We've come kind of to the, 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 the top piece here. We've come to the epic spot. What's going to happen? The mob, the rulers, the leaders, the elders, they want Jesus dead at any and all costs. And of course, the devils are urging them onward to maximum evil. And so there's Pilate trapped in this situation. He has to make the decision. What's he going to do? And we'll see how this all ends tomorrow morning. But for now, let's pray. Father in heaven, there comes to each of us in our life an absolute decision we have to make about Jesus. It came to Pilate here, and he had to make some kind of a decision about what the right thing to do was. What about us, Lord? We pray. I pray that you will help each person to read the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that they will read the Bible, and they would take a look and, and figure out for themselves what is their standing toward Jesus? What are they going to do with this, this man, this in, incredible person, and the incredible example he gave for us of how to, how to live? So now, Lord, bless each one as, we, as our hearts are prepared to make these kinds of decisions, absolute kinds of decisions between right and wrong, eternal decisions, and to choose rightly. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So... May you be blessed by he who died and lives again all day long.